Hey guys, welcome to the beginner FPV series and we're going to teach you how to fly the DJI FPV drone. Now I've been hearing that some people are crashing this thing. Some new users, some first time pilots, or maybe even some experienced pilots. Well, I, in my initial review, let two complete noobs fly this thing, both of which were able to fly an entire pack and zero crashes with only 30 seconds of instruction. So maybe you guys need that quick version of instruction. So this is gonna be a quick one to teach you what to do. Now, first of all, everything needs to be bound up. So read the directions. It took me about an hour and a half to get everything activated and updated. If I would have read the directions, I could have shaved 30, 45 minutes off of that. So read the directions, it's not that complicated. You're gonna to wanna to plug these things into your computer to get them activated first. Then you're gonna to wanna to download the DJI Fly app, connect everything to each other, follow the instructions to bind this to the radio and then to the goggles. And then you're gonna to wanna to plug in the Fly app to your smartphone, plug the goggles in, that's what will feed the updates to that. So now everything's bound up, what do you do? Here's the instruction that I give to folks. First, you're gonna turn everything on. You turn on DJI products by doing a short press, then a long press until it turns on. You're gonna see the drone do its cool sound effect, the same procedures done on the radio, and then your goggles, you just plug them in. You're gonna wait about 30 seconds till everything is connected. Once you can see the image in your goggles, then you are ready to take off. So you'll put the drone on the ground. You're gonna to wanna to set that drone about 15 to 20 feet away from you. You don't wanna set it right next to your feet. If you're inexperienced, you don't ever wanna push the wrong direction and send it flying into your head. So put it 15, 20, 25 feet away from you. Get it a safe distance on level ground. Now everything is connected. You have your DJI remote in your hand. You're gonna flip up the antenna. Now we're ready to... Now to arm it, what you're gonna do is you're gonna push both sticks down into the center like that. So down into the center. You should now start to hear the props spinning. So let's go over very quickly what the controls do. Your right stick is going to be kind of like a video game. Up is going to be forward. Back is going to be backward. Left and right is going to move the drone to the left or to the right, strafing like you would on a video game. Your left stick up is going to be for ascend. Down is gonna be for descend, and then left or right is gonna be your yaw axis, which is turning. If you can imagine turning around, kind of like how Michael Keaton had to turn whenever he was in the original Batman movie and his neck couldn't move, he just had to turn like this. That is what left and right do. Now note, when you do graduate to manual mode later on, if you ever do, the controls are a little bit different, but these are the controls you're gonna to need to know to get started out. So first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is lift up on that until you get about five or 10 feet in the air. You don't wanna go super high at first, you just wanna get up there. You're gonna to wanna to kinda of rotate around, get used to doing that, move a little forward, move a little back. Now, as soon as you get a little bit of distance, the home indicator should come up on the goggles. That will indicate what direction you are in relation to the drone, where the drone took off from should be the home point. So as you're doing your first couple of flights, notice where that is. If you ever get disoriented and you're not sure where you are in relation to where you're sitting physically, that is gonna help you know where it is. Now, if you ever get stuck or confused, just let your fingers off of the sticks. The drone will stop and hover. It will come to a stop. Now, if you're ever moving fast and you're getting close to an object, the button that is the shoulder button closest to you on the left side where your index finger would go has a little red pause on it. That is the emergency brake. If you're ever getting close to something or you ever wanna stop suddenly and immediately, you hit that in any mode, even in manual mode, that will switch you back to normal mode and it will pause the drone in three dimensional space and it will hover with that GPS lock. It knows where it is when you hit that button and it will put all the power to stopping it immediately. So that can save you if you ever get stuck, you ever get disoriented, you go heading too close to an object, just hit the emergency brake. Or if you ever just need a break, you can let off the sticks, that'll come to a slow stop 
or emergency brake will stop you immediately. Back here is going to be a little rotation knob that's going to rotate the lens up or down the camera so that you can see below you or above you. It'll rotate about minus 70 ish degrees. You can't go all the way fully down, but you can go about like this and then up if you want to see what's above you. Um, this three position switch right here on the left side towards you is normal mode. The second position middle is sport mode, which allows you to go 60 miles an hour. Normal mode is about 30 miles an hour. And the third position is manual mode if you have it enabled. I do not suggest you even enable manual mode. Don't even turn it on. You don't even want to risk accidentally bumping yourself into manual mode. You will crash immediately. It is very difficult. I saw someone post the other day. I tried simulator for two hours in manual mode and I can't quite get the hang of it. Replace that sentence with this. I tried driving for the first time with my mom for two hours and I can't quite get the hang of it. Um, learning how to drive is close to learning how to fly. Remember how many hours it took before you were comfortable driving on the roads, on the freeways by yourself? Now take that and multiply it by two or three times the number of hours. That's about how long it takes to learn manual mode. So I don't suggest you even enable it. You don't even want to accidentally go into it. I haven't enabled it on mine, even though I'm a very experienced pilot. The reason for that is I want to be able to hand this to people and fly, and I don't want them accidentally bumping themselves into manual mode. On the right hand side, you will have this little red circular button at the front right where your index finger will go. That is the record start and stop. Then you have a three position switch on the right hand side. That is going to be quick camera adjustment. Middle is center, down is down up is up so you can manually move it and get a fine tune adjustment on the camera angle or there is three quick buttons to go up down center that is the basics you're going to want to take off with the left stick go do your flight the system will return you to home automatically when it senses you're going to run out of battery so that's based on how you're flying if you're in sport mode and you're zooming around it may return you to home when you're at 30 percent if you're cruising around it may return you home when you're at 15 or 20 percent it dynamically calculates based on how much energy consumption per minute you're utilizing how much it needs to get itself back home with room to spare it's never going to do like you did that time with your gas tank and leave you stranded on the side of the road it's going to calculate that give you a little bit of extra buffer room to try to get itself safely so you can also go back and land it fly it toward yourself when you're about in the same area that you took off again you want to land 10 15 20 feet away from yourself you don't want to do it right next to yourself in case you get disoriented and when you're ready to land you're going to Fly it down. You're going to hit down on the left stick to descend till you're about 10 feet. Then you're going to want to just hold down. It will go, go, go. When it gets about a foot or two above the ground, it will kind of take over. Just keep holding the down button till it touches the ground all the way until the prop stops spinning. So you just keep holding the down. It will land itself nice and softly. Um, even if you ever do graduate to manual mode, you probably want to switch back to normal mode in order to land. It will give you those nice soft landings, uh, notably because you are kind of landing on the battery, which is on the bottom. So you don't want to ever try to land it manually for this particular drone. So that's it. That's the short version, although it's still a little bit long. Hopefully that gave you some insights for taking your very first flight. If you don't have the drone and you wanna know how complicated it is for the first few flights, it's actually very, very easy as long as you follow those simple tips right here. Again, if you ever get disoriented, stuck, scared, just let off the sticks. And for your first several flights, I don't suggest you get anywhere close to objects. If you're going close to a tree or a building, stay 10, 15 feet away. Um, don't try to get right up next to it until you're very comfortable flying. And even an experienced pilot, I don't usually get within five feet of objects because I'm just not going to risk crashing this thing. You wouldn't want to crash your brand new car. You don't want to crash your brand new drone. That's how you should think of this thing. Thanks, guys.